Des from Arrow Tarot here, and <clears throat> the year is coming to an end, and also the month. So I thought, you know, I do what I did last time the month ended, and do another, basically a vlog, <laughs> which I'm just gonna call them basically vlogs. <laughs> I don't know why. For some reason, I think that's interesting and funny, kind of. I have a weird sense of humor, <laughs> but. Yeah, so, December's coming to an end. I wasn't sure if I was going to uh, upload this on the 31st or the 30th, but as long as the light's still out by the time that I finish filming this, it's definitely going to be today, which is the 30th. <laughs> I still have to take, like, one more picture for, like, the end of it, um, and... I need more light for that, unless it's gonna be just the light, yeah, but the outside light, you know, it's nice. Like, do I have any lights on in my room? No, that's just the outside light, and over here is because my computer's on. <laughs> so yeah, I was gonna actually um, write down key points to say in this video, but I kept forgetting to do that, so I decided that I'm just gonna say everything and hopefully I don't forget something. <laughs> uh, so yeah. <laughs> Which or makes me think of planning out. I got this notebook for Christmas and I'm going to use it to plan out videos so I don't forget key points. Which I already did with, um, yeah it was the Christmas haul one. And I have been writing down like what decks, like the top five tarot decks which is 2017, which is day two of the, of the new 30, uh, 31 days of tarot. So, so I can just write this stuff down. Because I don't have all of them filled. I, like, did one day of just pre-recording, like, what was it, 10 or something of them. And then I just haven't done it since because there was, like, a lot of, 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 it, of them from the beginning days that I had to wait till Christmas <laughs> to pre-record. So... And then I kept putting it off. <laughs> so maybe after this I might pre-record at least the first. I already did the day one, so maybe say two, three, I don't know. But anyway, um, yes, yeah, so um obviously last time I talked about like what decks I got in the month. I did a <clears throat> what decks I got for Christmas video. So, I'm not going to really even show that ones. So I'll just state them, just because literally you can go back. Earlier in the month, I got Tara Leaves, which I did an unboxing of. And I haven't really used it. I, this, this month, I, I started getting the feeling of, like, because people talk about, like, seasonal decks. And then I was like, seasonal decks. And sure, you know, because I, I, ne I never really had that. Because, you know, only reading for, for, like, a year. When I got this one, I could work with it just fine, and, like, I had the, ooh, it's new kind of wanting to work with it, but at the same time, I felt like maybe it just wasn't really, like, a this time of year kind of deck, like, more, maybe not, like, a wintry deck, I don't know, maybe it's more of a spring or fall, I don't even know, but it doesn't really feel like a really late fall and early winter deck, so I ended up not using it. But one of the decks I did want to get used was Shadowscapes, which I used with the one spread video. And I played saw a game of Solitaire with, um, which um, I I like to play this one game of Solitaire that I found on YouTube. But yeah, I luckily was able to use the Dreaming Wind. The Dreaming Wind is quite loud when it wants to be used. <laughs> so I was able to use the Dreaming Way. Um, in place of pretty much all of that, except for except for that, and then you know, obviously, once Christmas came, I started doing the daily draws, and I was just using the new decks because I'm a new decks. So yeah, I haven't really used this one, but I did keep on with the whole use Dreaming White, and I did do for this one, uh, Guardian Tarot and Dreaming Way. I wrote down what deck, what cards pop, and why they pop, which is kind of like the one supposed to be like the first step kind of with the tarot journaling of that deck before I actually get to the actual journaling, which I end up not really ever doing, because <laughs> I'm bad. 
So besides Tara Lee's, which was um, earlier in the month, the Christmas decks were... <clears throat> I've got them all laid out here. Okay, so there was... Micromic? Micromic? I don't know how to... I don't remember that word. I, I can never remember this word. Uh, the name. It's the name of the person, I believe. Um, yeah, Micrib. Micrumig. <laughs> oh, that feels weird to say with the, the vowels in there. Um, uh, magical? Yeah, Magical Tarot? Um... Oh, GG boys! Guinea pigs are running around. <laughs> so I got that one. I finally got Dragon Age Inquisition Tarot. I got Light Visions, um, Sassari Beetle, <coughs> Vintage Wisdom Oracle, uh, Pythia Botanic Botanica, or Botanica. I can't. I can't speak. I'm very tired right now. Um, Ophidia Rosa Tarot, or the other ones are Oracle. Um, oh, Healing Light, um, a second copy of the Sherlock Holmes Tarot, a second copy of the Justice League Tarot, um, Tarat Mini, Nicoletta Ciccoli Tarot Mini, I don't think I'm missing any. Anyway, if I'm missing any for, like, the Christmas portion, like, it's literally in the decks I got for a Christmas video. So, I'm not worried about that. <laughs> um, then after Christmas, um, we went shopping at the mall and, well, first, the next day after Christmas, I got two decks in the, um, in the mail. Which, one I did the unboxing of, the other one I didn't do an unboxing with because I got an old edition. And one of them was the Sinking Wasteland Tarot. Which, bags, and I got the gilded version, it's so pretty. I know, yeah, I just did a my daily draw with this one last night. I've, I, I've decided to, to do the daily draws, and whenever I do them, I'm just going to do them. It doesn't matter the time of day. I could just do it as a theme for the day or a lesson. So, I did one last night because um, I forgot to do it earlier that and I was, like, out of the house for most of the day. And I used this deck because I had, I'd only done <clears throat> the deck, yeah, only the deck review with it at that moment. So, you know, I draw the card and I was like, yeah, what was the lesson I was supposed to learn for the day? And I drew the Four of Swords and I'm like, looks at clock, sees it's already past 3 a.m. Well, I definitely didn't learn that lesson. <laughs> I was going to go to bed a lot earlier than that, but yeah, that, that didn't happen. So I ended up waking myself up because I decided... Since the Fantasias are on sale in Final Fantasy XIV, I'd run around as a Lollafell for I don't know how long, just because I already had a Fantasia, so it's only like $7 to go back. But I used to be a Lala for like a month when I played my character, and I just wanted to play something cute and adorable. Although one of my free company, um, one of the free company members was all like, your character was already cute. And I'm like, I have different um, categories for attractiveness. <laughs> but yeah, um, that called me out last night. So that's great. We're going to get along. <laughs> so that one was one of the ones that came in the mail, which I did an unboxing of. The other one I mentioned in the unboxing video, but I didn't unbox it, is the... Um, Legend um, Arthurian Tarot, which this one, like, I found this one, which I'd seen, like, I've seen the backs definitely. I recognize the backs. I kind of recognize the cards, but I've been looking at um, the Arthurian Tarot, and I was like, mm, maybe I could get this with, like, the money at the moment. Or something, you know, like once I get Christmas money, and um, I was just looking at it, and then this one kind of came up, I think, when I was just, I think it was on my radar, and then I, I don't remember. 
Oh, yeah, I was looking at it again, and I just, instead of looking through my bookmarks, I just looked it up on Barnes and & Nobles, and then this one came up, and I was like, what, what's this one? Um, so, I looked at it, and then I ended up, like, I was like, oh, this is cool, you know, and I was reading the reviews on Amazon, too, and I was like, oh, I want to get this one. How come this deck, this deck always has a way to, like, get cards upside down, and I don't know how. I don't, I haven't even shuffled it. Why are half the cards upside down? That doesn't make any sense. I don't understand how half the cards keep getting turned upside down. That's so weird. I haven't used it yet. <laughs> and, like, half the cards are already upside down. Again! I've, like, put them back in order, I swear, like, three times now. Maybe it's a sign. <laughs> but, I don't know, some of the reviews were, like, the older versions had, uh, older editions had better card stock. And I'm like, hmm, I wonder if you could find the older editions. And so I went on eBay just because I was bored. And I came across some that were from, like, I think it was 2003, which had the red box. And then also, uh, which is also the same box from, like, the 1998 edition. Except the 1998 edition has a sticker on it. And I was looking at it and I'm like, I want the 1998 edition. So I ended up ordering it with the last bit of money I had to spend. And yeah, um, it didn't take too long to get here. It came the same day as the Singing Wasteland Tarot. She even sent it, the, the, the lady that I bought it from even like had a, a thank you for buying the deck, I hope you enjoy kind of thing, which is really sweet. It, it, it's a used deck, but it was like freaking great condition. The cards are like practically new. The book, basically it's just the lamination on like the front cover, but like it's not even like bad or anything. It's just the edges and I feel like you can just see just how old it is basically. The box is kind of beat up, but like it's a box. And then the, um... It comes with a, a spreadsheet for the spread in it, <clears throat> and I think there was like one tiny little hole from it being folded, and then it had, um, it's kind of like a ripply kind of texture. But like, yeah, like, considering this, this literal cop copy of the deck is older than my brother, I've still got like, I don't know when, I don't know when it would have gotten next edition when I've gotten printed um at least two and a half like I'll, I'll, I'll just say three I got like three years on it <laughs> but it's older than, it's literally older than my brother and my one friend so yeah the, it's it's in great shape and like I know sometimes you might get used decks and they'll smell or something it doesn't smell or anything either it like feels like like it was just never used so Sweet. It actually was cheaper than me buying a new edition. <laughs> so I got the edition I wanted, the 1998 edition. Because I, I felt like I needed the 1998 edition, like, for some reason. I just I needed that one. And this one I haven't really worked with. I want to work with it. It's not going to be, like, a deck I'm going to work with in January. It's going to be more like a deck I'm going to work with, like, for the first, like, so many months of the year, new year. Because the way I'm going to work with it is going to be just reading the book and we're going to watch Merlin together. And maybe after every episode I'll be like, hey, what do you think of that episode? And then, um, yeah, it'll be, it'll be a case of that. <clears throat> so I thought that we could bond that way. Especially since I've only ever read one Arthurian tale. And even when I did the deck interview, it was kind of like... We're starting at a wasteland of me not knowing anything about the tales, so we've got to build up the knowledge with, like, the books, and we can watch Merlin, since that's all based on that, too. And I really want to watch more Merlin. Me and Andy, we, my brother, we, we, we like the show, we just haven't really watched it, because for some reason, it's just one of those shows that you like, but you can really only watch, like, two episodes in a row before you're like, okay, I'm gonna go, um do something else now. It's just, we can't binge watch it. Don't know why, it's just one of those shows that we can watch one or two episodes and then we're kind of like, merlin out for the day. <laughs> so I think I'm only on like, what? I think I got like half of season one done just because of that and then I always forget to, to watch shows that I started watching. 
So it's like, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to watch the show. And I'm going to do it with this deck. <laughs> and that'll be like us bonding. So that's going to be how we bond. And then I got two other decks and a book. Um, this was, I guess we went to the mall the 27th. So I've only had it for like three days and I haven't worked with it. I actually haven't interviewed the one yet. Um, <clears throat> cause I had all these other decks to interview. And I thought this would be more of like a next year thing. So I actually mentioned it on my Tumblr and because like, I was like, Oh my God, look how cute this is. Um, <clears throat> so we went to the bookstore and I had cash on me. <laughs> So I was like, ooh, I'm gonna look at the decks. I mean, I shouldn't buy any decks, but I'm gonna look at them. I'm gonna look at the books too. And I didn't notice that there were some like inspirational decks and oracle decks that weren't with the oracle and tarot decks. They were like hidden amongst the books. And one of the ones that was surrounded by a bunch of big books, I didn't know the story actually had this, was The Universe Has Your Back, which isn't an oracle deck. It's um more of an affirmation deck, but <clears throat> yeah, it was stuck between all the books. I just happened to be like, oh, here's that one spirit book that I like. It's like $35. Like, I don't think I'm going to get it now, but I'm going to end up getting this book. You know, I heard it's good. So, and then I look up and I'm like, wait, is that the universe has your back? Oh, sweet. Like, it's only $19. I don't have an affirmation deck. Like, the one deck I'm getting is, um, like, an Inspirations deck, but it's, I think it even the title still has Oracle, and I'm going to use it as an Oracle deck, but I don't have, like, an Affirmation, um, <clears throat> deck, you know, just to get some positive vibes going, so I was like, oh, I got cash. Also, we get, like, 10% off, because we've got, um, BAM, uh, membership card thingy thing. <clears throat> I, th I think I'm going to get it. So I got this. I got a book, which... I have decks on it right now, so I'm going to grab that after I show the other deck I got. The other one, <clears throat> so, I know that, like, it's a complete, for some reason, like, our bookstore, which is BAM, um, <clears throat> that's the one that's in the mall. We used to have a Borders, but then, you know, Borders went out of business. And Barnes & Noble's is, like, they have one of those at the other mall, but that's, like, whew, far away, you know. How far away is that other mall? I think it's, like, at least 40, 45 minutes. We go to, we go to the... The other one. Ours, ours, well, ours used to have more toys in it, but it doesn't have it. That was always like, well, ours has toys in it. <laughs> um, but yeah, now, well, now it's more of like, ours has fish we can look at, although we never look at the fish. Um, but yeah, so, at BAM, they always had a copy of this deck, but it was never the one that I always see, which I think it's published by US Games, is what usually everyone buys and it was a different publishing company the box is completely different it's a kit and it's like $23 and it's like I don't know why it's $23 apparently it's got a book in it it's a different publishing company I've never seen anyone have this specific like edition online and so but you know I like picked it up and I'm like I'm getting it I don't want to put it down so I got it, and then as soon as I sat down on the bench waiting for my brother to get out of um, H M H H and M, I opened the box and I'm like, it's a mini, it's a mini deck, but it's not just a mini deck. It's a mini Thoth deck. It's adorable. <laughs> like I've never read with Thoth, so I just I just felt like maybe like one of the things I could kind of dabble and start to learn is like maybe Thoth, so I can. It, like, I, I want to put, like, um, Cosmos, Terra, and Oracle is going to be, like, the main system that I want to, um, learn. And then probably, like, Wildwood. And then I ordered Dreams of Gaia, so I'm learning that. But I was like, okay, then maybe, like, maybe towards the end of the year I can maybe start getting into Thoth. And that could even be the year after that kind of thing. And I didn't know this was a mini deck, and that's actually really cute to start off with. Like, my friend, their first, uh tarot deck is a mini Rider Waite Smith, you know, and like, I'm starting off the Thoth with a mini Thoth and I didn't even know it was a mini deck, but it's so adorable. <laughs> mini decks are so adorable and I was like, I just had to like put it on my blog and be all like, look at this, look there, it's a mini Thoth. <laughs> but yeah, this is a 
different uh, publishing company. The camera's currently on the book right now, and I don't want to move the camera. Um, I'll grab the box real quick. It's right over here. If I don't knock anything over. Um, yeah, this is the box it comes in, and I've never seen, like, anyone talk about this version of it. Because this is not published by... Is it usually published by US Games, or am I just saying stuff? Like, I think it's usually... Right? Am I right? Am I right? I don't even know. But... Yeah, it is US Games. I'm like, dead. I know it is. I know it is. Um, <clears throat> but usually I see the versions that are published by US Games getting unboxings and talked about and I've never seen this box like this is just this one has been in the has been this version has been in BAM and this is the only version that they've ever carried I've seen it like like all year uh probably not all year maybe like I don't even think they had this one until probably like half half halfway in the year and this is the only version of Thoth that our BAMs ever carried and I finally picked it up <laughs> it does not anywhere on the box say that it is a mini deck it's a book and card set. That's all it says, and it's got, you know, the 80 cards, which is um, the cards, and then two additional information cards. Which I, I put them with all the um, other cards, so. Yeah, it does not say it's a mini deck. It just says it's a kit. <laughs> but it's, like, $23, so I was, like, actually, 22 I don't know why I keep saying 23 It's $22. Yeah. <laughs> I just opened it, I'm like, oh, that's why, because it's a mini, it's adorable. I, that's adorable, I'm going to go put the spec now. Sorry, boys. The boys were like, oh, crap. What? Move their house so it's like in front of one of the logs? I don't even know what they're thinking. <laughs> yeah, that was the other deck that I got at the mall. I also got some crystals, and this lady, well, first of all, she, she didn't know how to spell aquamarine, which, like, that's not, like, an uncommon crystal, and, like, it's one of their products, and then she wouldn't believe me when I, like, <laughs> was trying to, like, tell her how to spell it, and she literally made me show her where I got, like, the crystal from, and it's, like, whatever, but she kept telling me that the one stone was a sunstone that I got, and I got one sunstone, and the other, the other stone was not in with the sunstones, like, there was a bunch that looked like it, um, that were with the other one, and they were organized by three, because it's just a gift shop, but, like, they were real crystals, so, and it was put with a carnelian of gates, so I was like, okay, this has got to be a carnelian of gate, and she's like, no, this is a sunstone, and I'm like, but it was with a carnelian of gates, she's like, no, it's a sunstone, and, like, like, would not listen to me. Yeah, that, there's no way that's a sunstone because it doesn't have that cracked, like, design, texture, thingy thing thing, like, with the sunstones. And the color is slightly off. She was just, like, holding them up like they're the same color. It's like, no. It's got lines on it, like, in a gate. It's not as bright as a carnelian gate that I've seen online, but, like, it's got more a gate qualities than it does a sunstone, so. I just realized, is the camera slants with? I don't even know. I'm so tired. But yeah, and then she, like, mm. she told me the one stone. I was, like, I don't know what it is. I assume it's this one because I don't know. Like, it doesn't look like any of them, really. And she's, like, yes, this is an Amazon River Rock. And there is no way that is an Amazon River Rock. I looked up, like, Amazon River Rocks, and first the pictures of fish came up. But then they were basically, like, you know, River Rocks. And then I looked up when I got home the other ones, and I'm, like, well, it's not a fancy Jasper. Obviously, it's not onyx. It's like almost like a palish blue with almost white with like black spots and like gray spots. And so finally, like yesterday, um, when I was going to the movie with my dad, I I asked um, his girlfriend because she knows some on crystals, not as much as her friend, but she 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 knows some crystals. She you know, so like I asked her and she's like. Yeah, this is no Amazon River Rock. I don't know what it is, but it's obviously a Jasper. It has all the Jasper qualities, so it's some kind of Jasper. It's not a fancy Jasper, but it's a Jasper. So, like, on the way there, we spent, like, I don't know, probably, like, five to ten minutes, like, looking on our phones. Just look different different Jaspers. It was probably more like five minutes. 
then finally I saw these beads and I'm like it looks kind of like this so I look and it's like sesame jasper so I'm looking at the sesame jaspers because all she found was the dalmatian jasper but that doesn't have the gray spots and the sesame jasper does so it's a sesame jasper <laughs> Not an Amazon River Rock, but anyway, um, the, the other thing that I got not at the mall besides those crystals, um, which was like five crystals, I also got another, um, Aragonite, because I like Aragonites. I think I'm saying that right. It's very hard to say with, like, that other A in there, um, but I got, um, the Marseille Tarot Revealed, and I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce his name. <laughs> Like, I'm sorry, man. Um, Yov Ben Dov? Dov? Yov Ben Dov? <laughs> um, he was the, he was the guy that had created the, um, C CBD Tarot de Marseille. And, which also has a website. And I heard of that version and his stuff, um, when I was looking at the Marseille how to read like numerology video um that kelly from the truth and story had put up so like i was like oh there's more say hey it's you know so i picked it up i'm on chapter three at the moment just because i mean i was out all day yesterday so i only got like a chapter in but like it's pretty pretty good for you. It's also all in color and like the pages are like that more you know, glossy paper. It's like that nice paper. And like yeah, it's like how many pages? I don't even remember. Um, 361 pages and it's like my uh, Marseille deck does not have a booklet. So Getting, getting a book and it was only 23 bucks. this was the one that was 23 dollars okay this is a 23 dollars and i was like let's do it so that's what i ended up getting and i want to finish reading that probably not today maybe i could finish reading it tomorrow depending on if i'm reading while doing like fishing in the game and waiting for dungeons so i i don't i don't know i used to be a really fast reader because i used to read a bunch but i don't read that much anymore so it takes me a bit longer, especially when I'm really tired. <laughs> and it's more of like an educational book, not a fiction book. <laughs> Where I can sometimes skip paragraphs because it's just this and this. <laughs> kind of like when my teacher was like, yeah, all these paragraphs in Lord of the Fries, you can pretty much just skip them because he just keeps going on and on about how the aerial is. <laughs> yeah, the teacher said that. That was probably one of my favorite books that I read in school. It's a great read. Yeah, those are, um, that's what I got. And this video is getting really long because December ended the year, so. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I gotta cut it real quick so I can start. Okay, the time was, um, running out, so. This is getting put together with editing. Um. Yes. Uh, I had, I have to talk about one journal thing that I decided to do, the planner still, which those aren't going to take long, and then I figured I'd just mention, what did you go see movie-wise, Des, yesterday? Oh, I finally got to see The Shape of Water, and it was freaking awesome. Like, I've been wanting to see that for, like, months when I saw the trailer, and I finally got to see it. We drove an hour away to see it, and it was worth it. It was so good. It was the best... To be honest, cutest. Like, their relationship was adorable. <laughs> and the ending is so cute. Like, cutest, best romance. <laughs> Which talks about other issues, films, film that I've ever seen. <laughs> that was great. Like, and uh, one of the scenes I thought was really good. And, like, it was so subtle. But, like, I was like, yeah us white people <laughs> like when I saw it, it was it's a scene she I think she had already um has seen um the monster but she's hanging out with her um next door neighbor friend and she's changing the channel she's looking at the guide and she changes it to the news and on the news comes up because it takes place in like 
uh, like 50s, 50s, I don't, th I don't think it, yeah, it's like a 50s movie. Um, and on the news was like, you know, back during all the civil rights and how the police got, policemen used to hose all the black people with protesting and stuff they would just hose them and send the dogs on it and you can see the horrible videos of it like now when she flips it to the news it's actually a video of that that's on the news and instantly um her friend i can't remember their names <laughs> i was paying so much attention to them more so the plot <laughs> names. um and he instantly is like no i don't want to see that turn it off turn it off turn it off so then you know she goes and she just changes it to another channel um, one that deals with dance, so like a, a happy one. So it's people ignoring the big issues that's going on, which is like so very, very true. I have a tendency to just kind of brush stuff off too, just because I don't know. I'm a bad person. <laughs> that and usually I always just focus so much more on my community stuff and that's what i want to do when i'm older is to help my community that i generally ignore what's going on with other communities so it's like yeah calling me out movie i see what you're doing here but it's just it was just one of those scenes that like i can you know distinctly remember and then of course later there was um another scene where um there was some racism and then finally that same guy um was like you didn't have to talk to them like that and of course he was getting kicked out of the restaurant too because um got uh you got found out that he's gay so you know how that was back then so surprised nothing worse happened but yeah uh, and just, just, just how, like, these, I'm trying not to, like, do, like, too spoilery-ish. Like, that's not, like, too, too spoilerish. It doesn't have anything to do with the main plot. And just, yeah, like, it was, like, because, like, it, the romance is obviously, like, the center story. But, like, there is just such that, that, like, sub, subplotish, you know, theme of people that, um, people back then and even now like think aren't complete or aren't perfect or that they're so much better than you know like literally who who breaks out um, them it's well, actually uh, the one guy ends up helping him I didn't know he ends up helping him but literally a black woman uh, an older gay guy and then a mute girl who society would see them as not perfect like and then of course he's not the monster is not seen as human so like it's it's just like that powerful message considering the villain what's he he's a a white guy <laughs> a straight cis white guy in a position of power so yep so not only is it a cute romance movie but it also it's got stuff that you know so it's a good movie i talked longer about that movie than i wanted to but it was just it was a really good movie <laughs> like it was freaking good <laughs> um but anyway uh, i'll just go ahead i got a planner so i'm gonna try doing daily draws and i'm gonna write them down in here and just try to keep more planned that's all i had to say about the planner then i decided to um work some more stuff in whoops one deck fell um the, my journal stuff, which did I put in this section? Yes. Um, because I started early, the one deck was more seasonal, um, as the next year goes out, I'm going to look at my decks and see if I'm getting more feelings during certain seasons. There's already, like, three deck three decks that I know for sure are, like, all around year decks. But I'm color coding them. <laughs> Because I like to be like that. Just make it a nice graph. Um, I think that's pretty much all I did with that. 
But yeah, the whole what I want to do for next year, that's also in the, in the 30 day, 31 days of, um... Oh, and I'm also finally keeping track of when I get decks, too. So... Now I can actually see that I got this deck, this one, and this deck, this one. But yeah. I'm very tired. I just wanted to finally actually film this instead of putting it off for like the last day that I wanted to, so. And this is way longer than I wanted it to be, but. I guess I can forgive myself because it is an, not only an end of the month, what what all happened in a month, but it actually is the end of the year. So, and I actually got a bunch of stuff. And I think I'm talking a bit slow just because I'm tired. <laughs> I'm just, I don't think I'm rambling as much as I thought that I was going to be kind of afraid of rambling, but. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. And then to end the video, I'm, I'm still going to do my outro, but I've taken pictures except for um, for December, I still have to do that, and I'm going to do that, I guess, probably right now, all of a sudden. Not even that the sun's up, it's just so white outside from the snow that it brings light in. So all the lighting's still good, I'm going to take a picture for December. But I already took pictures of all the other ones. And after I do the, the outro, there's going to be pictures, and... Each picture is going to be the decks that I bought for that month. The only difference is um, two of the decks I might have gotten a different month. Just because I it was given to me and when I bought in the store. So I actually don't know what specific month I got them in. And oh, what month was it? I just put it away too. Dang it. No, it wasn't that one. Did I put it in this one? Nope, it wasn't my other one. Oops. The one that just fell. Yes, it's, um, so I got, it's all the months except for one month. One month, I think one of the decks was giving to me, but I'm not sure, so I put it with one of the other months, so there's no decks for the one month, so. We've got January, February, March, April, May. There's no deck for May. Which, I don't know, I don't, I didn't actually get a deck for May. I thought it was because one of the other ones I might have gotten in a different month. No, I didn't get any decks in May, apparently. Which is kind of weird. I thought I, I you know, I, considering me with buying all the decks, I would have thought that I had gotten one every month. But I actually did not get any in May. So, they're all in order by the month. Except May. So, skip May if you're counting them all down. <laughs> and, yeah. So, anyway... That's going to play right after this. And I'm Des from Arrow Tarot, and I'm logging off. And now you can see the, all the decks that I got in the year.